Hey friends, welcome to the part 91. This is the YouTube handle for this channel. We are looking at 700 plus videos and 3000 plus questions on cloud certifications. If you have not yet subscribed, do so. This is your opportunity to build your cloud career. So let us look at these questions. So a company wants to move something. What? iOS application development and build activities to AWS. That means currently they are doing it on premises and they are saying, hey, you know what? As a part of migration to cloud strategy, let us build applications in AWS. Now the question is saying is if we have to do that, where what service we should use? Okay. So that means they are not looking for a fast track solution they want a wholesome full stack development kit so that is something which amplify can provide it helps you develop web and mobile apps and this is full stack man this is not for people so i'll, I'll tell you differentiate this from that question where it says um, my client does not know a lot of things on aws here that is not the case these guys are experts at application development they want an expert environment in aws they don't want a novice environment if you wanted a novice environment then light sale is the product but here we want amplify we will suggest amplify why because you see you create backend for web ios android and so on so ios is supported we all saw here so this is like many times i meet parents and some of the kids for that parent is like very sharp like i met a guy who is really good at playing chess so you have to take that guy to the next level at a very young age and keep hopping the levels uh, till he manages but you should not get this guy to your apartment complex and then say, you know what, there is an inter-apartment complex chess competition. That, that will not give you any much exposure. Your guy is uh, meant to rule the world. He's not meant for this small well. Okay, That is what Amplify is doing. You have to think about giving everything that is possible on AWS. Now, what is code commit? So this will help you with version control. Okay. It's just like your GitHub. You put your code there. Within AWS, this is similar to GitHub. The question is not talking about a problem statement to commit your code. Now, B says EC2 Mac instances. See, for every problem, you may go to EC2 and manage it yourself. Okay. But then this will not give you the desired elements and performance. You are going to mess up your life. It's like, you know, if you are the CEO and you are still developing the code, then your company will not scale up because you need to do what your role is demanding. You are there for growth. Similarly, on AWS, you don't come to AWS just because some top shot in your organization says, hey, you know, we want to be on cloud. We want to check box, click that check box and say, yeah, we are all cloudized. Come to cloud only if it makes sense. Otherwise, don't come to cloud. B is wrong. App runner. This is a container application if you want to build then you use this here we are not building containerized web application the question is not talking about the word containerized the word here is ios that is why we will hop to amplify this is an environment for developers why you can developers can accelerate their application development how there are some built-in backend components 
see manufacturing each and every part of a car is that time consuming or if we just give you the parts and you have to assemble is that time consuming obviously the first part is time consuming because you have to manufacture stuff and then use it. for example you are making noodles and you have boiled chicken you have cut vegetables you have boiled noodles so it is very easy to make it right but starting from scratch if you have to cut the onion if you have to cut the cabbage then it will be time consuming and that is why restaurants they have to scale up because they have a lot of customers so they have a lot of stuff already cut and diced and ready okay. so that is amplify for you so this is the next question and it is a simple requirement out of these tasks why do you use security groups what is the intent of security group so the intent is you only allow access to specific ports and you can configure the inbound rules accordingly to make use of specific ports and you can restrict access to only that port why you do it because you want to implement least privilege option security release privilege does it ring a bell you are entering an infosys campus you want you have come here to visit someone they will only give you access to the reception area they will not give you access to first floor second floor 10th floor no that is least privilege means only what you require that's it just like god man god gives you only what you need to survive he will not make you filthy rich only very few people one percent of people will be filthy rich remaining will just get what they can manage i always think god always has the principle of least privilege so this is my answer now b says you deny access to malicious ip addresses at subnet level to do that ecl is the service it is a stateless firewall rule service but it operates at subnet level security groups will not help you at subnet level so this is wrong c says you protect your data that is cached so security group will not help you with that for cloudfront there is a special service called aws cos it is cloudfront origin shield this service is meant for that purpose that is why c is also wrong and d says stateless firewall for ec2 okay security group can work but there are other services which will do this job well enough this is a aws documentation you can pause this and read it for more clarity so we are at the next question you need to apply security rules into a subnet of ec2 the moment we see subnet we should think about acl just in the previous question we saw acl works at subnet level and you can create firewall rules for controlling inbound and outbound traffic this would be our answer security group we saw if you want to restrict someone to a particular port in ec2 instance but security group does not operate at subnet level so security groups by default operates at instance level but you can also make it operate at subnet level but that is not the default behavior so security group is wrong then certificate manager see 
with many times we have to do encryption in transit using TLS protocols that time we need certificate so certificate manager will provide you certificates for that you can store certificates there in certificate manager it will not help you build security rules that's why this is wrong and AWS config see it maintains the configuration history who changed what when for example one finder you realize here my EC2 instance capacity why did it go down then you can look at the history because uh, it maintains configuration history and change notifications and then you can look who changed the configuration why and so on so config is about configuration of ec2 instances uh, it is not about security rules so this is our final answer now if you look at this next question uh, you are running an application on aws and you want to identify prevent accidental download of malware so this is accidental download primary services guard duty see what guard duty does is it helps you uh, you know protect your aws accounts with intelligent threat detection now in this case you have to prevent accidental download of malware so this is going to help you it, it can detect malware patterns and attacker techniques and compromise instances providing alerts inside so it will automatically detect what is the pattern and the techniques used so guard duty would be our answer but let us look at acl waf and so on waf you know if it is only for ddos attack so if you look at waf it helps you protect against web common web ex exploits and so on you can create waf rules now waf is also able to help you with the malware it checks for the malware signatures and prevents users from downloading so that means uh, it will do a check beforehand and tell hey boss please stop don't download but we are talking about accidental download that means the guy or the user is not aware that there are some hidden malwares okay so if that is the case guard duty is the guy guard duty is just like your security guard if you are coming in uh, in your car and entering a premises and the security guard sees you he says okay go but if someone else is also trying to tailgate that means come behind you uh, suspiciously but they are not authorized then security guard will catch it similarly guard duty will catch it okay what WAF does is WAF uh, it's like it is just sees from the from, from a uh, far distance and says oh this guy it looks like a thief and then uh, <clears throat> the guard I mean WAF will tell the owners of the premises hey you know what this guy looks like a thief let us stop him from entering so we are talking about accidental download not intentional download that's why WAF is wrong in ACL we already saw in the previous example why ACL is not a good fit here it it will not help you with malware so this is what ACL does if you have malicious IP addresses it will block the IP addresses at the subnet level itself okay like IP addresses some sometimes people say okay IP addresses from this country or this range of IP addresses do not allow them because they are suspicious that is something which you can do it through ACLs and then we have network firewall it helps you to create a highly customizable network security policies we are talking about network related security policies here we are not talking about network related security we are talking about accidental download that means at the application level what can prevent so guard duty is that service so this would be our final answer guard duty will kind you kind of help you with this it has inbuilt anomaly detection and ml software it has behavior modeling in place and that is how it identifies threats and so on if you have not yet subscribed do so it will help you with certifications this is the youtube handle 700 plus videos 3000 plus questions on cloud certifications we are all about cloud now will you get the same exactly same question some of the questions definitely will be uh, rip off from this playlist uh, but then there are a lot of questions which you will also get uh, which is a bit tweaked or some would be new but the concepts will help you clear those uh, uh, you know clear those certifications and answer those questions i would ask you to focus on new services also like lex uh, transcriber and then you have uh, one or two new services uh, which has been recently added as well so like uh, light sale and uh, you have like app app runner this one amplify you should be aware about those services normally people just think about 
EC2 instances, security groups, but these services also are very important for certifications. So when I went for my certification uh, three and a half years or four years back, I didn't know about light cell and I did get two questions on light cell and I was totally clueless. Just through my common sense, I tried to answer it, but I'm not sure. I didn't score great marks. I passed. Uh, I got around like uh, 775 out of 1000. Okay. Yeah. But that was on AWS Solution Architect Associate I'm talking about. That was the first exam I gave. I didn't give Cloud Practitioner. I gave Cloud Practitioner a long time ahead. Uh, sorry, after I cleared uh, Cloud Practitioner Associate. Oh, sorry, Cloud Solution Architect Associate. So in Solution uh -huh. Architect Associate, I got light cell examples. In Cloud Practitioner also, I, go, I got light cell stuff. But uh, uh, so that's what I'm talking about. You know, you should be aware about these services. Uh, so this brings us to the end of part 91. There are a few uh, parts we will also post in the uh, members area for the members. If you have not become a member, a Cloud Kernel, Cloud Ninja member, I would recommend you to become that member. It is not only about just one certification. There are so many different types of certifications and the contents that we have put there. Okay, So it is a very small amount of money, but you gain access to all the content that we have on this channel. So it is really cost uh, productive, very efficient from a cost perspective, very affordable. Okay, So please do uh, become a member and see you in the next part.